If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clashes now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to continue with our coverage of the top decks from the Limitless Q3, our qualifier number 3 um, online series. So, Sinchino Control by Wilmer Kohlberg Johansson from Norway ended up getting top 4. Um, Sinchino Mill seems to be long gone now that boss's orders is a thing and also um, Dragapult's bench damage is here to stay. However, controlling the energy is definitely always a good strategy and this is what this deck aims to do with the heavy yell grunt, the heavy hammers and the recycling of those resources with Orangrun. And once you've run your opponent out of energy, then you attack your deck with the Lilba and Bryson Man discarding deck, discarding cards from their deck and yours. Now we do have already Kuno GX with the Cold Crush GX attack to further control the energies. We have Sinchino to draw a lot of cards with Make 2. We have Orangrun's resource management, of course, to get back any resources we might need. Our beautiful four Poké Dolls to make sure. Hello, Poké Dom TV. Our four beautiful Poké Dolls to make sure that we always, always um, like have access to those and can buy ourselves a few turns. We have Giraffe to this to send cards to Lost One that might be important for our opponent. We have Mew as well to protect our bench from the possible tag bolt, and we have Sage and V to start off and draw cards and gets it up. Now we have very few actual draw cards so Station is going to be very important and that's where the Quick Bolt and the Friend Bolt comes in because if you're up against another deck that has Station you can use the Friend Bolt to search for it and set yourself up. So let's jump into the ladder with the Sinchino Control deck and see what we can do with this deck. Now Disclaimer, yeah, because I know a lot of people, especially there's one person who keeps <laughs> posting very aggressively on my YouTube videos. Um, this is the first game I am playing with this deck, so expect a lot of misplays, but we are here to learn, right? I'm not saying I play any deck perfectly, but the important thing is learning for from your mistakes, right? All right. So if Jirachi is able to find me um, Quick Pull for Station, then we're in a pretty good spot. Um, my opponent is playing Keldeo V and possibly Water deck, which means that we might see Frostmoth. And hello Alex, thanks so much for joining us. Okay, so I'm gonna still wish first. Uh, the Friend Ball is not actually useful here. I will grab the Crushing Hammer, however. And I do flip heads, which means I will be able to Mars my opponent. No station, but I do find Sinchino, I do find this guy, which is pretty nice. And my opponent didn't get an explosive start or anything. <laughs> Play super scoop up. I don't know what we're up against. Some sort of well deal deck or something. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright. Alright. So there's a, the Snom for the Frostmoth. Wouldn't Friend Ball have gotten you Minchino? Yes, but it could have gotten me Sinchino as well. Uh, Max, yeah, that's true, Alex, that's true. I did not think of that. Could have gotten me Minchino or Sinchino too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so obviously with Frostmoth, there's not that much of a point to the Flirt Grunts, I mean to the Yell Grunts. Uh, Maxi. Arregle la camera, as he is. Okay, now we get to establish. There's our beautiful, beautiful Station V. I don't expect to need 
to turn on Liza anytime soon. Right, so let's do that and let's save our Jirachi. And then let's go in Trepid Sword. So we have a lot of resources now. Eh, si, sí, Max, si sí lo voy a probar. No lo voy a probar hoy, pero si sí tengo planeado un stream donde pruebe los decks peculiares del Q3, como ese, como Bolton. Vale. Entonces voy a probar los decks que definitivamente salieron, fueron muy inesperados en el Qualifier 3, ¿ok? Incluyendo Excadrill. Alright, so we do see that, we do see attachments. Red one's gonna go Waste Splash for 40 damage. And this is where the Team Yell Grunt might be useful. My opponent's hand is now down to zero cards. The biggest issue we're finding was finding Sinchino. Yeah, I can see that with... You can see that being an issue, the guy with two hats. Okay. So we know the card in my opponent's hand is Frostmoth. So I'm not super interested in this card and that. I could just boss's orders this guy. I don't see why that would be bad. I'm not super scared of 40 damage either. Um, can I go for... Discard this. I don't know, like every card here seems useful. Okay, these are all good. These are all pretty good. I'm gonna yell run this turn. Combined with the crushing hammer. The friend ball can find me the other Sinchino, so maybe that's better. Fine. <laughs> eh, Max, ¿para qué? Sabemos que es una evolución que no le ayuda. ¿Para qué le descarto la carta? Sé exactamente lo que es. Alright, so I'm not super scared of the 40 damage right now. Just Intrepid Sword. Well, there's our Sinchino. Right, there is our Sinchino. So I guess my goal will be to eliminate as many energies as possible this game as many energies as possible okay 40 damage that's fine we we know one card we don't know the other one not the biggest of deals all right let's go for the hammer two flip hands that's great so ideally i would absolutely love to find an energy to start putting those hammers back, right? That I think would be my ideal plan. So I go ahead and make to the huh. I'm not sure what to make. You honestly, I feel like two should be enough. Two Sinchinos at this stage should be enough. Okay, another hammer. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to discard this because I probably won't need that until the very end and I do have extra copies. Okay, I do find my energy, that's very nice. So let's see if I can flip hands here. Yes, I can. I flipped all hands very interestingly. That's not usually what happens. And then there's the crushing. And now this game will go super, super slow. Oh, I didn't even play a supporter. Jeez. Okay, well... There's the frost mode, so we don't know what's in my opponent's hand, but that's okay. I'm just gonna resource management the free hammers, honestly. I don't see why not. On the next turn, I can pull back, shovel my deck, start drawing cards. I think we're in a good spot. So this is what you try to do. Obviously, my opponent's deck is not the most competitive, I would say. Um, frost mode seems to not be really, really good. But... But, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that back. These two. And then let's go make two, the Fava. Definitely won't be needing Fava here, I would imagine, right? Wow, <laughs> I just get two hammers, okay. Okay, hola Trey, muchas gracias por estar. Ah, la que guardo con Anguru. Ah, tienes toda la razón, Max, tienes toda la razón al usar Oranguru. Ya no era esa carta, es todo lo que Okay, so research management. Let's put back the Pal Pad and let's put back the two Mars, I think. That seems reasonable. Not giving it too, too much thought. Um, I'm at a point where 
maybe it might have been better. Um, maybe it might have been better for me to let the Jirachi go down. That way I could Belilba. I could search Belilba every turn, basically. No, I was just not gonna do anything. Okay. I think I'm just gonna start using the Elba. Right? Why not? Don't need the quick balls. Yeah, I think it's just the Elba I return now. Goodbye, Wondrous Labyrinth, that's fine. And then just resource management. Put back all three Belobas. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's all we're gonna do here. I guess that is all we are going to do. Don't even need to attack his hand. Skateboard, energy retrieval. Attaches, goes for the ice dance on the bench. Plays custom catcher for three, very nice. Quick balls for the day. I mean, I don't mind him too much, like actually doing stuff. Because then that just eats up at his resources up here. Eltegas for research. I am down with that. I am definitely down with my opponent drawing seven cards this turn. Especially when I'm holding four crushing hammers. <laughs> okay, so there's the Lapras. And we get hit for 40 fabulous damage. All right. So I'm just gonna try and remove the energies. Because why not, right? Well, I don't mind the energy there, actually. Okay, that was pretty good. So let's start using Make Do. Let's continue to use Make Do here. Goodbye, Jirachi. Uh, no Belova, they're at the bottom of the deck, of course, because I didn't shuffle my deck, I forgot. So let's go ahead and pop that, these two. Now my deck is shuffled. Man, do I really need to do anything else? Not really, right? All resource management, get back the handler, get back the board with that, and that. Yeah, seems good. He just bought Jarma Garbodor to zero. <laughs> very nice. The guy with the hats, very nice. Torchfire, you've never heard anything about this before, but does BDIF stand for best deck in format? Yes, that is exactly right. Torchfire 11, that is exactly, exactly right. BDIF stands for best deck in format. That is very correct. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so there's a lot of VMAX for my opponents. There's an energy to the active. Uh oh. My opponent's down four, five, six energies only. That Marnie definitely hurts. <laughs> that Marnie definitely hurts. There's the bucket for my opponent. Down to 18 cards though, and we have yet to like lose any real resources. So between Stella Wish, the Dolls, the Sage and B. And the Articuno, I'm feeling pretty confident. Ruben, wow, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you so, so much. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Turn Fire, my day has been pretty okay. I've been playing, or I've been doing coaching in the morning, and now I'm streaming. Yeah. All, all full day of Pokemon. <laughs> How about yours? And thanks for asking. All right. So obviously this is not gonna be very impactful, so I'm gonna leave with the Mars here. I guess this kind of quick bolt was not my brightest idea. And then I'll go ahead and make two. Did discard custom catcher, that's good. 
And then the next mate do should probably be on this. I really need to control the well I don't really need to, but it'd be nice if I could control the energies, right? I think at this point single hammers will not be very impactful, whereas having the protection of the dolls will be. This also means Fion, I get protection from Fion, and so let's start with, I mean, let's go with the Intrepid Sword. I am finally down in price card, so I can play Surge for double Belilba, right? And then in three turns, I would just win. Ruben, <laughs> I almost, uh, <laughs> I almost bit my water. Thank you so much for the extra 500 bits. Thank you so much. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for support as usual. Thank you so, so much. How have you been? You're at work. Okay. <laughs> very nice. Hope you're being very safe at work. All right. So let's start with Sintekin here. Is Articuno even in the deck? I don't even know. It might not be actually. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make two of this guy. And then I'll go ahead and make two on the Mars. Okay, well, I guess eventually I'll find out. Um, boss sorters could be good, right, to bring up something with a heavy retreat cost. But it seems like my opponent's relying on custom catchers, so I'm not super scared of that. Okay, so I believe in next turn I'm just gonna go ahead and start using Surge Belova. I'll play the hammers, might as well, just in case of another Marnie or something. Get rid of this one. Getting rid of energies on the active doesn't really make much sense. And I'll go ahead and Trepid Sword, Rangaroo, Drawfrag, and the Boss's Orders. Okay, so I could go a little lighter on the disruption and just go search bosses orders below, but that could also be a good option. Uh, Torch Fire, what is my favorite deck in standard right now? Probably my favorite deck, Dragapult. The BDIF Picaron. I really enjoy playing Dragapult a lot. I really do. Okay, so there is a hammer. What's left in my deck? Okay, so the Articuno is definitely priced. <laughs> the Articuno is definitely priced, I don't know for sure. Maybe you guys knew, especially the people who watch the video very... and are very, like... very... hmm... about the... <laughs> about what I do. Yeah, they probably knew. Okay, I'm just gonna attack the deck. And there's another custom, so now my dolls should be more than enough. More, more, more than enough. Let's go ahead and play these. Because why not? At this point, the energies are also extra. So I'll do this, and then... As far as I can tell, I can't be costed up anymore, right? So that's really good news. So I'm gonna play double Palpad, and I still have plenty of time to use the Rangu Room. So yeah, I don't see any scenario where I don't just win this game. Um, and I don't see a scenario where my opponent plays Belova and Bryson Man. <laughs> so I'm just gonna Intrepid Sword. And we should be good. You think Picaro is at least top 3? Yeah, I mean it dominated the last qualifier, so... I definitely think it's... Um, top 3 is probably putting it lightly. Okay. So now we go search a little bit and notice how we didn't even need Articuno in this match. If I had Mewtwo on a fire, then I would have already won. Um, I'll do this. I'll just go ahead and foul pad. These two, I just need one more. And sure, I'll still <laughs> wish for one. And then, like, I could generally just do this and retreat it to the doll. Let's keep it, like, super risky. Let's not use Intrepid Sword, obviously. And then next turn, we just win. 
Yeah, even a Marnie doesn't save my opponent in this spot. Uh, Clan Undertaker? Yes, I am playing the Perfection Tournament tomorrow. Yes, I am. Uh, Third Fire, if you, would I believe you if you, if you could beat ADP Sagent in 2-3 turns? Uh, I would believe you if you told me with what deck you were doing. If you told me with this one, then no, I wouldn't believe you. If you told me that with a Welder deck or Pikram, then yes, I would. Okay, I feel like this this is not helping my um, this is not helping my my total damage received, total damage dealt <laughs> number. All right, pretty pretty solid win, pretty straightforward win against this deck. Um, not the most competitive deck, Lapras, Emax, Frostbolt, unfortunately. Maybe there's a way to make it competitive, but with Pikram being a top tier deck, then it's pretty much impossible um, to be good if you're a water type that's weak to lightning. Uh, Clan Undertaker, can I please test versus you? Well, unfortunately, like there's a lot of people that want to test versus me, um, so I don't like giving preference to someone over another person. It has been a long time since, I, since I've done um, since I've done um, viewer battles, but uh, right now I want to focus on making sure that um, the channel has these deck and others right for the next few days, and then um, other sort of decks. So I won't be testing any today. I'm sorry, Plan Undertaker. I hope you understand. Yeah. Because if I accept your invitation to test, then like other people will say, well, why him and not someone else? Yeah. He Trevor is YOLO. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I don't know what I'm up against. No, no, don't don't apologize, Connor Jackie. I'm just explaining. Yeah, I'm just explaining. If today was viewer battles, if today I was doing viewer battles, which I haven't done in a while and I really want to do, um, then we would be able to. Yeah. And we would be able to. Alright. There's the scoop up net. I don't know what I'm up against. Like, what? <laughs> I haven't started three scoop up nets and a switch. Is this Malvar? What do I think of baby Dragapult? Uh, it's not good. Oh, this is Dragapult, there we go. <laughs> Torch Fire. Tag Team Beats with 500 HP. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Shant top deck is very nice. I mean, well, uh, quick ball obviously top deck, but you know what I mean. Okay, so it's gonna be super important to find my stadiums here. I don't think I want to Belilva right now. Yeah, I think I'd rather just discard the Belilva and be patient with the deck attack. Okay, this is very nice. Now, this could be pretty well known. He has to actually be accurate. So maybe we'll use that later, but definitely not right now. Oh, you know what? Fawa is good to get rid of horrors. Okay, this stadium could actually be very impactful here and delay my opponent's attack by a turn. So I'm pretty happy about that. And there's my Sky Pillar. Very nice to protect my bench. Okay, so we're stabilizing-ish. We'll see what happens. What's my opinion on Sage and V promo? Me, Trevor is, I mean, as far as the card, obviously it does the same thing as the regular one, so it's just as good. And I'm happy, yeah, I'm always happy when they print, um, when they print 
parts like that and they make them more accessible. You know? It's good for the game, so why not? Okay. During the next rotation about the set, am I going to miss the models? Probably Ultra Prism is for Malamar, is right? I really enjoyed Malamar. Um, it was like a, a big love or hate relationship with Malamar, but um, I'm definitely gonna miss Ultra Prism overall. I think Lost Thunder, Lost Thunder is a big loss as well. Those are probably the two sets I'm gonna miss the most. Okay, so my boot might not even be able to attack me with Bite, which is fantastic. Definitely should have gotten back to Fava though. Definitely should have gotten back to Fava to attack possible horror energy. So, okay, so there's the Shred, I survived by 10 HP, which is fantastic. Um, I could yell Grunt, right? I could actually yell Grunt to stop the Max Phantom yet another turn. And I definitely think that's my play. I'm gonna... Not sure about this one. I'm just gonna try this order. Okay, another stadium. So if I can't deny the energy next turn, I might end up playing the Sky Killer. I haven't seen one of my opponents playing stadium wise. He does have the Giratina and the Mr. Minuses and this Giratina, so. And Yelf runs. So does he even have space for stadiums? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, I think Pigram is definitely the strongest deck. Well, thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? People are going to be so upset when Team Up goes to fire. Yes, but like Team Up will not go until August of 2022. No, 2021. Right? So it's May 2020. <laughs> I think it's it's gonna be a while. And Caligos, thanks so much for the follow. Didn't notice that. Thanks so much for the follow. Okay, boss's orders. Okay, there's the swell, so my opponent does play stadiums. And he will get rid of both of my Cinchinos and possibly this guy. So that was really bad. That was a really, really bad turn for us, that's for sure. Really, really bad turn for us. Um, Alright, so that's a good top deck. And thanks so much for the follow Torchfire. Let's hope we can flip hands here. Yes, we can. Okay, that's good. That is good. So then what do I do here? What do I do? Do I do Tail and Liza? Okay, I think I bench... How many energies is my opponent down? Just two. Okay. So I don't think I bench this guy just yet. Well, maybe I do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna pull that. I really need to stabilize a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pitch this guy. Ah, but I have this guy pillar though, and that's huge. Okay, I'll ordinary rock back these guys. Ah, I feel so sad about playing as a Porter this turn. Okay, those are three good cards though. Those are some very good cards. Alright. You got the Pigram deck for 25. Nice. The whole deck? That's very, very nice. Am I looking forward to using a Tornado's VMAX? Yeah, I am. That'll be the new best deck, right? That should be pretty fun to use. Okay, so the question is how many stadiums does my opponent actually play? I can't believe he has this, 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 this. These, like, and stadiums. He must be low on the supporters. He has to be. Okay, so definitely playing the Sky Pillar. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And then... I'm gonna do this. Discarding what exactly? This? Or this? No, this. Not happy about it, but oh well. Grab three. Okay. So I'm definitely going to use this guy. 
to this. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. And like this. And like this. And like this. And I shuffle. I'm not sure that was correct. Okay. Now let's go Cold Crush. Okay, I have these two though to deny energy. So this guy's at best getting 3 2 KO'd. And there's two more energy gone. Three total. Not a lot, but we have to do something. Hello, Worm Townie. Hello. Pigram rotates. You're still going to play it. You can play it and expand it, right? Okay. So let's go like this. Yay, thank you very much. And now this is fantastic. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, I probably should have played the search because I'm getting back to Tain Eliza. Okay, very nice. This gets me Sinchino, or yeah, Sinchino. Very nice. So we can continue to dig. Okay, we're kind of, kind of stabilizing, and that's really good news. Okay, now let's venture a turn with Intrepid Sword. Okay, we're doing this. We are slowly but surely doing this. Do we see a path? No, we do not. But we have Faba for that one. And that's really good. And that's really good. So, I'm gonna start off with the Mate Doom. On this guy. Not happy about it, but there we go. That energy, that's what I wanted. There we go. So I'm gonna search. I'm gonna Faba the Stadium. And I'm gonna switch out. Very nice. Let's go. Because this allows me to recover a lot of the resources that I have lost. Which include the hammers and the palpan. I'm hoping my bow will finally not attack me this turn. Now he's down 3, 4, 5 energies and a spinner. So if he's playing the two spinner list, then he has um, four energies left out of a 24 card deck. And he hasn't been digging, he's just been drawing the energies naturally. Would Adrenatus work with Roxy Weezing? There's the draw power. Uh, I feel like that's unnecessary. You have Crobat for that, right? Like you have Crobats to draw extra cards and get extra damage. And like your maximum damage output is 240, right? The Weezings, do they really help you hit the numbers? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, we see a Sixagoon. Could go on the active to get the KO. Uh, Wormtown Nino, I have not played the Luxury deck yet. I will be dedicating a deck, and uh, not a deck, sorry, a day uh, next, like in my next stream, hopefully tomorrow, um, or maybe Sunday, where I will be playing the, the the non-meta decks of day two. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of day two of the Qualifier 3. So that will include Luxray, that will include Bolton, that will include Excadrill. Yeah, so I'll play that then. I will play those decks then. Maybe tomorrow, probably Sunday. Okay. Alright. Thank you so much, Gigi. <laughs> Stay safe, you as well, and thank you. I appreciate you appreciating my work. Okay, why didn't he KO the Orangur though? He's out of scoop up nets. So that was really odd. Okay, so I wanna start with this just to see what I get. Nope. Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna make do this. No energy removal this turn. Well, Yes, energy removal this turn. Very nice. Getting pretty all right flips, honestly. Do I just go search double bill elbow? I kind of like that. I honestly kind of like that. I could even. Nah. 
Should I? Nah, should I? <laughs> and remove these targets. Okay, I will do it with the first one. Didn't hit anything too impactful, honestly. Right? Yeah. Well, the ordinary rod, actually, that's very impactful. You know what? I have the stadium, he doesn't have a single energy, I am fine. Okay, so Marty gone, Malwana gone, Research gone. No, didn't hit a single energy, he is down 5, 6 energies total. Alright, then so let's research management. Let's get back those crushings. Hmm, is it better to get back the Palpats actually? Because I do have these guys. Maybe it's this. Yeah, because my other guru is there. Maybe this is what I want. Yeah. I'll grab that. Okay. So with these guys and these guys, I can find myself time to draw what I need. I think I might win this one, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Not 100% yet. Because four prizes, like, there's four prizes right there, right? Especially the Articuno. Maybe I should be using the Lelva. Why not get back Chip Chip Ice Axe since he's not drawing energy? Because I can't access the Chip Chip Ice Axe this turn. And how do you not? How do you know he's not drawing energy? He has not missed an energy any turn. So how do you know he's not drawing energy, Alex? Right? He's attached energy every single turn. Every single turn. Every single turn we've removed that energy, every single turn he's attached that energy. So I don't think the Chip Chip Ice Axe is how we win this match. I think what we do here is we go yell front on the energy, then we stamp the energy away. Alright. And then we ordinary rod. So I want energy, no I don't, so I just want Pokemon back. I want the Guru and I want the possible Station in case I clear up this Station at some point. And then I want to make do this, don't see myself needing the switch. I will pull that back these two. And then I will go resource management. I think now there's merit to the Chip Chip Ice Axe, right? I need like these. This is rock. Maybe I need to call that instead of this. This is actually not very straightforward. If my drop power is so low. And now my deck is so thick, so maybe maybe using Intrepidator this turn was better. I don't know. Just be like, my opponent has not missed a beat any single turn. And we can only delay the attacks for so many turns. See, like every single turn my opponent has, had a, has found an energy. Every single turn. He has not missed an energy at all. Any, any point. Oof. Maybe I should have cleared my bench when I had the chance. Okay, uh, the Marnie, oof. The flirt run, the yell runs go to the bottom of the deck, so that's bad news. I'm gonna have to shuffle with the quick fall. 
puts us in forgeries, that puts bosses sorters at the top. Yeah, and Guru is dead. I don't think we can get there. My opponent did not with energy a single turn. Well, we can attack the boss's orders. That's actually really good. <laughs> uh, if he has energy, we're dead, though. Okay. Okay. Alright. So what do I bring to now? Okay. I should Belilba, but I should save the Arangu, right? Or I should use Arangu, I feel. And then let's go like this. Okay, I discarded Boss's Order, Switch, and Fion. Wait. I have three below us there. I just need one turn of double Belilba. Right, that's all I need. So that should be good enough. I hope my opponent doesn't have bosses or hers. Another one. He's down to six, seven. He might not even have energy. Well, we know he has the horrors, right? We know he has the horrors. This might end up being the key card. Well, he can't take a KO anyway on the bench. Yeah, I think we win. We probably don't win the next turn, but we will, we should win the turn after that, I think. Yeah, the Chip Chip Isaac's like completely useless at this point. Okay, I'm gonna make do this. I know I won't be getting the cards I need. Um, so. Uh, should I have played the Ordinary Run and discarded that? Probably? Yeah, I probably should have done that. Oops. Um... Oh, wait. Oh my god. I just lost. Because of that Tail Slip. Because I don't have an energy to retreat. Yeah, I couldn't have won. I can't retreat. Right? Yeah. Yeah, my opponent just never whiffed energy. So attacking with Oranguru was a mistake. I should have just been patient, put back two Belobas, and used Intrepid Sword, and then used one whilst he attacked the, the dolls. So my my bad. Yeah, my bad there. We definitely had we definitely had a way to win that one. Especially with my opponent's rough start. Um, it's amazing that every energy I removed every single time like my opponent never passed without attacking me i never got a single free turn which is what this deck aims to do right you always aim to have that one free turn where your opponent doesn't block doesn't apply pressure and then the advantage you build is insurmountable um the balance between using resource management and trepid sword maybe i got that wrong um definitely just needed to focus on attacking my opponent's deck um, chip chip ice axe when he has five cards left in the deck is not worth it or even ten um i don't know yeah i don't know i definitely feel like if i had just been patient with the dolls and kept using intrepid sword rather than using resource management i would have won but that's my bad yeah that's my bad <laughs> all right so we're gonna be moving on now to the baby blouse deck that made top four at the online limitless qualifier number three and then we'll be taking a look at dragapult as well so don't go anywhere i will be right back in just a second 